1921, James H. Clarkin was owner of the Hartford Senators. The Senators were a minor league team who played in the Eastern League. That year, Clarkin built a new baseball stadium in Hartford. The venue was called Clarkin Field from 1921 to 1927. Lou Gehrig played his first professional season at Clarkin Field in 1921. Other baseball stars like Leo DeRocher and Jim Thorpe played for Hartford during the 1920s. The venue was also used for major events in football, boxing, and motorsports. When the Hartford Senators were sold, the venue was renamed Buckley Stadium in 1928 to honor former Governor Morgan G. Buckley. Buckley, a Hartford native, was also the first president of the National League, chief executive at Aetna, and a former United States Senator. The stadium was located at the corner of Hanmer Street and George Street in Hartford's South End. Buckley Stadium had bleachers and grandstand seating with a maximum capacity of about 15,000. In its day, the facility was considered one of the best in New England. The first championship team at Buckley Stadium was the 1931 Hartford Senators. In 1932, the Eastern League disbanded and Buckley Stadium was left tenantless. until a local jeweler named Bill Sabat leased the stadium for the Sabat Gems. The Gems were former champions of the Hartford Twilight League. Upon renting Buckley Stadium, the Sabat Gems became an independent club. The team was made up of professional and local baseball players. Sabat and his gems hosted baseball's top names, such as Dizzy Dean and the St. Louis Cardinals. Jimmy Fox and the Philadelphia Athletics. Bob Feller and the Cleveland Indians. And the Boston Red Sox were guests of the gems at Hartford's Buckley Stadium. Meanwhile, the Hartford Senators became a minor league affiliate of the Boston Braves in 1938. Led by general manager Charlie Blossfield, the minor league franchise improved amenities at Buckley Stadium. The Senators eventually took on a new nickname, the Hartford Bees. Hartford's minor leaguers and the Savage Gems attracted thousands of fans during the 1930s and 1940s. In September of 1942, Savitt welcomed Ted Williams to Hartford. Ted Williams played outfield for the Gems and hit a game-winning home run. That same year, Hall of Fame pitcher Warren Spahn began his career with the Hartford Bees. In 1944, Hartford won the Eastern League, the city's sixth minor league pennant. The club was later named to the top 100 teams in minor league history. On the 1944 team was Peter Knack Tennis, a pitcher who was well acquainted with Buckley Stadium. Knack Tennis was the first player from the Hartford Twilight League to reach the major leagues. In September of 1945, 
Babe Ruth played the last game of his career with the Savage Gems. The 50-year-old Ruth put on a home run hitting display in batting practice. He entered the game as a pinch hitter, but grounded out to the pitcher in his final at bat. Nineteen forty five would also mark the final season for the Savage Gems. In nineteen forty six, the Hartford Bees were renamed the Hartford Chiefs. The Boston Braves affiliate broke down racial barriers by desegregating baseball for good in Hartford. The first African American signed by the Chiefs was a Negro League star and hometown hero, Johnny Taylor. In 1951, rookie sensation Gene Conley earned 20 wins on the mound for Hartford. The Hartford Chiefs would play at the stadium until 1952. In its final days, Buckley Stadium hosted amateur and professional ball games. Buckley Stadium was demolished in 1960 and last commemorated in 1998.